Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. All right. Today's cocktail is called Sloppy Toppy Shot. And what you're going to do, I'm going to give you the ingredients and how to make it all in one sentence. So in a shaker, you're going to mix some melon liqueur, simple syrup, and Hennessy. Shake vigorously and strain into shot glasses. And you and your girlfriends enjoy those sloppy toppy shots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't you love sloppy head? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, girl. Sure do. Giving and receiving, honestly. Uh, welcome back to Cocktail Story Discussions, you guys. This week we have a guest, and since we're on Zoom, it'll be awkward if she's just staring at us. So let's introduce Hedusa. How are you? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. <laughs> hey, girl, you yeah. got this mask on. You look like a superhero. You yeah, don't. like from that um, <laughs> the name of. Okay, so um, really quick, Medina, how's your week been? Um, any updates? Any new projects? Well, you know, my week has been really good. Um, I'm doing this live recording with a nurse injector. She lives in either Philly or Jersey. I hate that I don't remember, but her name is Nurse Sarah. And we're doing like a live, like she's going to ask me about like social wellness and how do you stay happy during quarantine, quarantine, are you getting any sex? A lot of stuff that we talk about, mm-hmm. but maybe like on a little white people level, oh. I don't think I can cuss. Um, I have to work on that. But um, I hurt my knee, went to the doctor, got an x-ray. They think I have a torn meniscus. I'm praying I don't have to get surgery. But other than that, I am happy and well, and I am in a good place, Kiki. How are you? What a blessing. I'm doing great. I've had an excellent week. It was a very busy, jam-packed. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it later. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. I want to say I had so much fun at Drea's party. I did too. And you are was such a, a great time. host. Oh, thank you. I've been working on it. I am trying to get my Southern Belle on. Ooh. And um, we tried our best. But I feel like everybody did a great job. Everybody had good things to say. I think we all had fun. I really enjoyed hanging out with everybody and you too. Because we haven't done that in a while. That was a in lot a of fun. In a very long time, you guys. It was a lot of fun. We'll tell you about it more on our upcoming project. So that's enough of that. Now, to I do so. What you been up to, girl? Getting that hip? You feel We're me? keeping that hip. I- <laughs> well, I've actually just been, like, super, super creative. Like, Honestly, like my lifestyle hasn't really changed just because, you know, um, it's, it's all digital. It's all content creation. So, Mm -hmm. so that's what you do for a living. Like you create content, you are an author, you do all of these things. And that's what you were already doing before quarantine hit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you reached out to us because you wrote the official blowjob handbook. Mm. And then I talked to you and you also told me your webcam model. I am. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the official blowjob handbook, that's the name of it, right? Perfect. Yep. That's correct. Okay. So when did that come out? That actually, I published it April 1st. So mm-hmm. at the beginning of this Oh, month. recent. Mm-hmm. What made you do that? Were you just like, you know, giving a blowjob one day and you were like, wow, I need to teach this to all the bitches in the world. <laughs> well, that- I, it's kind of like a multi-part answer. So Um, I was inspired by my partner. He's like extremely kinky. So like, honestly, like every blowjob video, you know, guide, whatever, he's probably seen it, watched it, listened to it, everything. So um, I was inspired to do it through him. And then also just like my years of experience, I'm 28. So I started it like when I was 21 with this partner. And Mm -hmm. before this partner, I honestly didn't do blowjobs at all. So like, he taught really? you how to suck dick. He it. taught me, yes. He taught me. And like the first oh. time we did Did he give it, you a live demonstration or he just guided <laughs> you? No, like <laughs> the first instance when we, you know, were going to do that, um, it, it just happened. I don't really know how to explain it. You know what I'm saying? It just happened. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, you have an inclination for this. And like my whole life, you know what I'm saying? That's like his number one fetish. Like he would, he would rather have that than anything else. You know what I'm saying? So like, really? Yes. Yes. Did you oh, used wow. to be mad at it? Like, were you sucking his dick? And he was like, oh, not like he wouldn't come. I hate when like somebody doesn't come for me giving them head, even though most of the time, if I'm sucking your come. dick, you're not going to come. Cause I'm going to get tired. Honestly. I know you feel me. Jawbreaker. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Give me log um, jaw. I don't want that. You can get yeah. a little bit, and then it's like, all right, look. Yeah. You want to bed? Let's yeah. watch a movie. <laughs> no, I mean, when I first started doing it, I just had like an inclination towards it. I wasn't like a number like five, ten star head giver, but I had a working knowledge. I don't, I don't know. It was just like innate in me. You know what I'm saying? So like once I started doing it, then, you know, I started adding different moves, different techniques. And then, you know, we transferred to me actually like the process of writing the book. I just saw the need for it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women, like, especially on NSFW Twitter, um, Mm -hmm. I see, you know, it's, it's pretty much Pornhub, you know what I'm saying? Just Mm -hmm. all out wild. And like, people were just like, Oh, she gives the best dome. And Oh my gosh, she's going ham. And I'm just like, like I would, it's just like, you know, random videos. And I'm just like, y'all stop, stop. You know what I'm saying? So I just literally just saw the need for it. And um, I know a lot of women, you know, they don't know what to do because it's not like you see a whole bunch of guides or books. You just see videos of people doing it. And you're like, I think I'm doing it right. I think this, you know what I'm saying? So like, I just really wanted to make it to, into a science so people could digest mm. it and then also have video examples where you can actually visually see, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. So before we get too deep into your technique and all of that, let's play a little game. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we're calling it this or that, but the cards in the back do say, pick your poison. <clears throat> Don't play that in line. This is our game. Okay. So we're going to give you some options and you just pick one. Okay. Okay. So the first one, um, would you rather go to the emergency room because you got a beer bottle stuck up your ass or never be able to have sex with the same person twice? Oh, I'm going to have to have that beer bottle in my booty hole. Same. <laughs> same. Because it's one and done. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there are just, I've had, there's a couple like, sex partners I've had that I, I want to revisit that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to revisit that. Okay. Um <clears throat> would you with this or that have 12 inch pubic hair you cannot trim? I'm already oh, there. No. <laughs> or get shot in both kneecaps. 12 inch pubic pubic hair. <laughs> I'd rather have that. Because you could just part it, you know you what I'm saying? Break it down. <laughs> Give Perm- it a little <laughs> part the seeds, like style. <laughs> Maybe get some kneecaps though. <laughs> kneecaps? That's kind of brutal. I don't know. Because mm-hmm. I saw you struggling in your on your crutches today. Oh, I don't yeah, know that. and that's and one knee. That's, that's one. one knee. I'm already having a <laughs> kneecap problem. And honestly, bitch, my pubic hair is braid my hair. I saw <laughs> it. Yeah. Braid my hair. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather poop a pile of parasitic worms and eat one or have an extra chromosome? This is so funny. Or have up. a what? An extra chromosome. What exactly does that mean? Do you have like Down syndrome? Oh, oh. maybe or something else. Something's gonna be a little off Ooh. for your entire life. I know, but it's like you can have that parasite for your entire life too. So it's like, and you gotta eat it. The poop with the parasite. I know. So it's just like going back in. Um, I would say the extra chromosome because I could be fly with it. You feel me? I can still be hadoosed mm-hmm. with the extra chromosome with the mask when you feel what me. I would do. <laughs> You got an answer. I feel like if I got you gotta take a gulp of wine, man. Okay. I should have poured shots. Mm. You'd be lucky I didn't because I would have made you take a shot. (laughs) Okay. Pee out a small worm. Who made this? Or have your firstborn child grow up to be a a terrorist? The first one. Yeah. I can't birth any terrorists. No. Mm -mm. We already have enough of them. So. this is gonna be my last one and then you can do one more okay would you rather never masturbate again or be hungover for the rest of your life i know what i'll pick never masturbate be hungover be hungover never masturbate you said be hungover for the rest of your life that's how you would pick I that's so bad. What if I just you get a little drunk? drunk? Then you just yeah. keep drinking. I'm not gonna lie. I too <laughs> would pick the uh, never masturbate again in life because I'm not gonna party. lie. Since this quarantine, I'm getting to the point where I need. I'm never gonna masturbate ever again in my life. I'm I'm hiding my vibrator from myself. Um, I did do too much the other day. I said, you know what? I gotta put these back in the drawer. We got a relationship. My pussy hurts. This bad. Yeah, I'm not with <laughs> 
has its own book. Uh, and I was getting deep too, so I don't even know what was wrong with me. Did you? Well, I, need you. I need to get like you. Okay, last one. Drink a pint of someone else's vomit or vomit every time someone tells you that they love you. I don't know what I'm going to pick to that one too. <laughs> I guess let's drink a pint. She going to drink the pint. Take a, let's she take a shot gonna... of it right quick. You feel you're me? doing the other because you're not drinking that. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. I'd rather vomit every time a nigga say he loved me. It don't happen often. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't be that bad. I I throw up every time I drink too much anyway. It ain't a thing. I got it this. Oh, yeah. do so we got you here girl all right so back to this book mm-hmm. now you were saying that you were sucking a partner's dick mm-hmm. and you were posting stuff on the nsfw twitter and that's when they were like oh you do so good do you do did you only write the book or do you do classes and stuff too so right now i only have the book um just because i just you know what i'm saying wrote it and published it Mm -hmm. but in the in the coming time i will have classes i like to coach you know what i'm saying i like to talk people through different things so i i love teaching and and self-empowering people so that is i'm wondering with something like this like you're saying like you have these great giving head skills how do you know that like do you because you obviously you suck your dude's dick Mm -hmm. do you suck other dicks i don't one and done i just i i hold myself to like a certain caliber i feel like a lot of chicks that just you know suck a lot of stuff um (laughs) you because let me back up so pretty much engaging in any sexual because you're getting spicy now wait a minute we (laughs) are the chicks that be sucking a lot of stuff (laughs) hold on hold up hold up hold up so (laughs) I know you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Um, when, we, uh-huh. when, you, when you engage with someone sexually, right, you're exchanging energy with them. That's like the mm-hmm. most, you know what I'm saying, like upfront way. So mm-hmm. with me, I don't want a whole bunch of energy on me. You know what I'm saying? From mm-hmm. a lot of people. And my person would not be happy with me. Okay. Um, I didn't know if he was just like, this shit is so fire. Like, I need everybody to, to, try, to try it. it. That's how I yeah. feel when I fuck somebody good. I was like, you got to try this. Just tell oh, me no. Oh, hold up. No, I'm not like that. Not man, but just like somebody. Yeah. You know? oh, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But it's like, if you end up, if you end up engaging with someone sexually and then you get their energy and they're toxic, then you got That's a really whole cool. bunch of toxic traits from them. You know what I'm saying? You can't get ahead in life. Your pro- just problem after problem builds up but if you engage with someone like super you know what i'm saying on the other end then you're winning you feel so, me so, what's your favorite technique i would say the neck work the like it's called the washing machine spin cycle because it just it looks is- really good <sighs> it looks really cool and like honestly i know a lot of chicks can you show us like a demonstration yeah do you have something you, you can put in your mouth and do it because i'm I or can you just either. Do you want to Okay, yeah, do that. I, I just, just want to see. That's how... oh, oh, I've never I've actually never done that. Me either. And like with Why that, to be acting up. I know a lot of chicks are like super Enjoy. terrified of like deep throating because they're afraid they're gonna throw up and all that kind of stuff. So with yeah. this, it just what do you do? Like, well, when you when you suck, right? Like, and you do that motion. A lot of dudes, it's just about the visual. Mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and then so it's about the deep. yeah you don't have to go deep and then mm-hmm. they're like oh my gosh she, she gets so you're just doing that on the head you can do that on the head but it, oh, i God. i mean i do it all up and down <laughs> do it try it real quick <laughs> you know what i'm saying just stretch out a little <laughs> but <laughs> i can't do that i'm gonna be laughing he gonna be laughing <laughs> And it loosens, it loosens your neck. It loosens your jaw because a lot my of people like, right here. my lips, my lips, you know, they go numb and all that stuff. So how do you mm-hmm. like take it all in? You have to open your jaw, like yawn, you know what I'm saying? And then like, it gives you more. Maybe okay. So you're not just doing there. that on the head. You're down there, deep throating and twirling your Up neck around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't throw up. How do you get past the throw up part? That's that's where I'm stuck. I don't know if I'm remedial or what. No, I'm you're wrong. not. It's Maybe just, it's don't be drunk and don't have just eaten a big meal. Well, I try to at morning time. I don't be yeah. drunk. I ain't got out the bed yet. Oh. Yeah. See, I can't suck dick in the morning because my mouth be dry. dry I'm going to brush my teeth and put some mouthwash in it. 
mm-hmm. swoosh it around, spit it out, and then I'll be ready, you know? Okay. Um, okay. And just keep in mm-hmm. mind, there are different levels to deep throat. You don't have to be a whole porn star deep throat. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be grandma deep throat. I can't get you don't have to be up one. here. It doesn't have to be shallow. It just, mm-hmm. if you can touch the top of the head with the back of your throat, that's technically mm-hmm. deep throat. I can't get you know there. Saying? I'm saying, how do you get there to level one? Definitely deep throat. You have to. It's like it's like working out. You just have to build a resistance. Oh, that's it. why I fucked it up. Well, yeah, but I also feel like go Superhead. Like- <laughs> I learned from Superhead. To me, like she was like you know the poster child for head giving. Okay. And I love how she did that two hand trick because oh, it I feels like if you get it really wet and sloppy, it feels like you're deep throating. But really, you just have a little bit of them in your mm-hmm. mouth, and you're just doing everything else. Mm-hmm. You know what other trick I like? is to interlace the fingers like so. Look at mm-hmm. this. And you put it inside so then you can do different things with your fingers and you can mm. in different ways. And you, you, a dick, you a dick masseuse. Down there. Okay. I mean, I can't deep throw so I gotta do other stuff. You gotta have a big dick for that. No, you know, like, you can do it on because it's in there because you got them little fingers. Oh, this I've is a one size fits I read it in Cosmo. Hey. You'll be sleeping on that magazine. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you something else because you said that you've had this long term partner. So, do you ever feel like maybe the techniques that you have and that you tell people about are good for him because it pleases him, but maybe not everybody? It's universal. Um, and I say that confidently because I've done, because I'm also a webcam model and I've done sessions on webcam. Um, I'm Streamate model. So like in Streamate, you pretty much What's get that? dudes to take you private. Streamate? Streamate, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a company. It's like one of the biggest uh, webcam companies and they have like subsidiaries. Like you can be a live model on cammodels.com, Pornhub. And there's like other mm-hmm. like smaller mm-hmm. companies, but it's like, I have the parent. I'm with the parent company. So like dudes come in your room and then they take you to like private shows and that's where they like pay you. Right. And I've gone to private shows and I've done nothing but suck my dildo. Nothing, nothing but you have that mask on when you do it. Yes. Is it enjoyable to you when you're sucking the dildo? Um, I think it is because I'm getting paid. And then second of all, Mm -hmm. um, they're enjoying it as well so it's like i want to please them like that's the whole point it's i'm their fantasy i'm their escape you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. um everything else that's going on so yeah i enjoy it just because i know i'm really good at it and a lot of dudes like like i'm just going to tell this story super super quick so i was in a, a session one time and like this dude literally locked himself in the bathroom and his girl is banging on the door and he's doing a show with me and I was like, bro, like, what, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got out of character? I, no, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't get out of character, but he locked himself in the bathroom and he's like, I want to do a show with you, but my girl, like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, in that instance, I should have been like, bring your girl in here. Let me show, you know what I'm saying? Let me teach her some techniques and then y'all can mm-hmm. do that. But it's like, I've had dudes do that. They girl in the other room, like all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really skilled at it. And like, I present something that a lot of dudes haven't seen before, um, you know, in that art form or in that category. So, yeah. Are you but, I mean, women it's not, at all? Not I am not. Strictly dickly. Um, um, Why do you wear the mask? Um, just to protect my identity. Um, just because, like, I've literally had people, like, try to stalk me and, like, mm-hmm. show up at my doorstep and, like, find me. And I'm like, I don't want any of those problems. I just mm-hmm. want to, you know, give you guys some good content, give you guys some good empowerment skills, and then be gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and it also presents an element of mystery because it's like, you don't really know what I look like, but I can make you come super hard with mm-hmm. my skills. So wow. it adds to the kinky level. It's kind of like Kat from Euphoria. Did you watch Euphoria? Oh, yeah. When she, she started. Well, she did it because she was a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a kid. Mm-hmm. I forgot. Yeah. A little different. She looked grown. You are kids grown, look right? grown. Uh, yeah, I'm grown. I'm, I'm 28. Grown? <laughs> I'm 28. Uh, can you get your ID? I, I thought you mentioned it. <laughs> look yeah. like you hiding behind the door. Okay, no, I'm playing. Would yeah. you ever do that, though? Would you ever, what? like, wear a mask and have this persona and do, like, these live I thought live about it, especially during quarantine. I thought about it, and then mm-hmm. I thought about some of the videos I have on my phone. I don't know what's been going on, mm-hmm. but people have been sending me old videos. I said, like, hey, okay. how you doing? 
I'm like, this is a good video. Somebody should see this. But Only fans. No. I just know that after. Well, go ahead. And then I want to ask you about that. A couple people listened to the episode we just did with Horrible Decisions and they were like, you and Kiki might as well, like at this point, you you guys might as well start a fans only. And I was like, oh, only fans, only fans. They're like, Mm -hmm. you might as well just do it because. I already set mine up. Porn speed. I said something on there, but I said one up. Just in case. I don't know how long we're going to be in here. And if it's just got to pay her bills. I heard they were opening up Georgia, though. Aren't they opening up? I'm not opening up. Nothing okay, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. okay. Do you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> um, I do. I'm actually in the process of, like, building it up and getting the content out there um, and, like, posting it up there. But I do. And um, you guys can go to IamHadusa.com. I have a free one, and then I also have, like, a one that people pay for. You know what what do you saying? post on the free one? Um, it's pretty much like a paid per post. So like, it's kind of like a kind of like a carrot to get people to go to the subscription instead of paying per post or paying per message. They can just pay one time and get everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like pretty a much just like yeah, yeah. So but I post, just, I post everything. Do you make a good living off of this, off of OnlyFans, off of writing blowjob books? Like, is that a good, do you make good money? Or sometimes are you like, oh, I need to start bartending? I would say um, being a, a webcam model, yes, I make really good money. And I also do Skype sessions as well. So like, um, I'll just do like virtual dick sucking sessions on Skype and I'll have dudes book me. And I mean, I, I charge like... I charge like fifty dollars for ten minutes. So are you like, sucking your man's dick or you're sucking a dildo? A dildo. Okay. Sometimes I do a cucumber. Do you do you ever do your man's dick for an extra fee? An extra fee? Is that like um, premium content, like a real live dick? Yeah, I, I like we're opening up to that, but okay, he's not, not ready currently. Yet. He's probably Good. so he knows that you do this though. Does he have? Oh a yeah, of course. He's the one who put me on doing this. Like he put me on being Hadusa. He put me on being a webcam model like he's like dude and just so I'm we're like, clear what? he is not he's, he's not, not your pimp. pimp right like you're uh, okay uh, okay she okay. said <laughs> sorry I, my booty like, got tight. i was like okay? this bitch is <laughs> okay, wait a minute she she got a pimp. You on we gotta this save her <laughs> no no he's just he's like <laughs> mad he kinky. he's mad kinky mad open and like i mean i am too I, I am explain well. that what tell us what that looks like what does your y'all's kinkiness look like because some people be saying kinks and they just talking about putting fingers in booty holes tell us or what having sex like. often i don't do booty hole anal i don't do any of that stuff. so Why what not? are you kinky um, with i just don't it's just so it's painful it's really anti-nature to me it's like because stuff comes out of it so why are you putting stuff in it you know what comes out your pussy and you still put something in it. i don't yeah that's i like my booty hole played I, with i say it loud and eat proud his, <laughs> to each of okay cream <laughs> You gotta listen to an old uh, episode to know why we call her that. Yeah. So um, what makes y'all kinky? Because you're so confident. You're like, yeah, I'm the best head giver and we're kinky. But like, why? It's not though? even that. It's not even that I'm the best head giver. It's just like, I am, I empowered myself through learning how to do head. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's kind of like mm. you teaching yourself how to cook and you, you cook all these different cuisines now and you're just like, I am a chef now. You know what I'm saying? You can be, you can call yourself a chef after you make something. That you <laughs> I don't, I don't, but saying. I will say this. I think people should stop doing that. I like to cook a lot. Um, I'm glad you said that. And I think people <laughs> stop calling themselves chefs. You have not been trained. Don't yeah. say that. You just like to cook. Maybe yeah, you're yeah. a really good cook, but you're yeah. not a chef. Yeah. I mean, there are different mindsets, I would say. Um, Mm. I would say if I if I put together a recipe and I've done it multiple times and I am a chef I don't care if I oh. haven't been in the Michelin star kitchen I don't care if I didn't get gold stars not even a school hmm. yeah. see but I, I, I mean, feel like that's not respecting the craft right mm. because there are chefs out here my father mm. being one of them okay that they you know they get trained and they mm-hmm. there's they have a lot of work uh, yeah it's like saying you're a journalist and you start a podcast and it's like bitch you ain't even start college let mm-hmm. alone finish or you're a doctor Do you know how many you nights i had to stay up yeah. well i don't know how you can say you're a doctor and you didn't go to school yeah <laughs> it's like if you're saying you're a chef and herbalist on the board a healer a natural healer they be calling themselves doctors 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all so, the same. There's just okay, different so you call, there. so I noticed on the email when we were going back and forth, and this is not just to attack you, but I'm really just trying to understand. Mm-hmm. Um, your signature says master or how yeah. did you come up with that? Just my years of experience. Um in years, you said. Yeah, how I many? have over seven seven. Years, seven plus years, yeah. So how many that, years you got? I mean, what are we talking about? Sucking dick? Mm-hmm. I think. How how old am I? Thirty one. I, I got over twelve. I, the <laughs> first dick I sucked was. I Is was, that right? Yeah. I was a freshman was in high 17. school. Mm-hmm. I got caught by my family. It was really oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Ooh, girl, yeah. I'm not thirty. But yeah, when I was in ninth grade, that's that's when I sucked my first dick. I wasn't constantly sucking dick though, just so we can be clear. That's when I sucked my first dick. And I would say, like in the early part of my twenties, I was do I did such a great job at sucking dick that like I niggas was falling in love. I have Mm -hmm. fourteen years of experience. You must have more than me if you started at what age? Uh, Well, it was in ninth grade. That's that's like sixteen. So you got sixteen years. Yeah. Yeah. I got fourteen. Well, shoot. Y'all over here, y'all over here. But I don't, I'm not good person. anymore. I used to be good in my early I'm really 20s. Not that and good. Now, I just got a lot of years of experience and failing. <laughs> you want to know what it is for me, Hadusa what? and Kiki, and that me makes too. me not good anymore at it? I like one thing that is that I like about sex is I like to look good when I'm <laughs> having sex. I, that is a real thing. I don't like when we're messing hair up and everyone's look, their knees are ashy. You got your socks on ankles is crusty. It really, like I'm not good with that. So like, I have noticed like when you give really good head, you're looking real ugly towards the end of Mascara it. Mascara is running. falling off. You're not cute no more. He's looking at you like, bitch, you're not cute. Hair Just don't up. look at me no more. Eyes I like watering. to be a fantasy for That's a not man. That's the right really one. That's not the right one. I mean, <laughs> And no, yeah, that's you for her, me, not him. This is me. That's a me thing. It's not he's like, you don't look good, sis. I like to oh, look at both of us, mental. even the nigga. That's I want to be a bad bitch the whole time. I want to be a bad bitch. Like, every now and again, like, if we get in the shower, mm-hmm. shit happens. <laughs> then- <laughs> you went to the sauna, bitch? Wait a minute. I'm going to say, now, hold on. <laughs> I didn't hear that story. I feel like that's when my head game started to fall off because you're just not cute anymore after choking on a penis. Yeah. That, that I actually cover that in my book. Um, a lot of women, like, they just don't even, I would say they cap themselves because they're just like, my, their mind gets in the way and they're just like, oh, well, what about this? What about that? I mean, that's, that's like just during regular sex though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I understand like the whole, it's pretty much mind over matter. Like what I do is I literally just get into the zone. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm about to suck this dick. I don't care. Like, but my dude, he wants buckets of spit. Like, but like the wetter, the That's better. He wants to drown in that. He wants to drown oh, yeah, in it. You feel what I'm But some dudes don't, don't like that. They're just like, they're just like, that's too much spit. Like, that's nasty. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you have to really be Who in says that? Man, I don't know. I, but I've heard stories where it's just like, like some, you're, of the, you're some of the girls, girls who write you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the like, way that you suck his dick, does he eat your pussy the same way? In a miraculous, yeah, glorious. He actually doesn't eat pussy. He doesn't. He's Wait a pimp, Hadusa. Are you okay? Blink twice. I am. I am okay. I am. Okay. Is he behind the camera? Tell us. I'm not oh, playing. I, I am by myself. Okay. I'm by myself. Okay. I'm, by myself. I'm by myself. Now, my boyfriend before him, literally, I, this dude was like my soulmate. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude would literally oh, eat he? my pussy every single day, all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I feel yeah. like. He ate it so much that now I'm okay <laughs> with it oh. not being in the That's picture. not fair. You don't see that as unfair? No, not really because I when I give head, it's more of like a selfless type of thing. Like I really want to please him because I mean, just because he doesn't eat my pussy, he pleases me in way other ways that are, you know like what I'm what? saying? Way more. Just like like expanding my mind my knowledge my spirituality just like and he's not one of those hotep type dudes it's not like oh, that, she's it's really that. no i want a chanel it. bag if you're not eating my pussy and i'm choking on your dick and writing books about me sucking your dick yeah i feel and you like you don't eat pussy if i'm having sex with somebody i don't make everybody eat my pussy but i feel like if you don't eat my pussy i feel like it's because it's not good this is this has an expiration date on it you don't know what you're doing Woo. i'm not gonna pressure you to do something that you don't know how to do because then i'm gonna be pissed Mm-hmm. You can't be yeah, that's true. I'm about to say I'm not gonna pressure you, but this is not gonna happen again. I won't be laid out, sprawled on the bed again. 
And I'm definitely yeah, I'm not giving on the bed, you A one premium. No, you gonna dick get, sucking. You gonna get beer uh, passing level because I don't want you talking shit about me and the streets thinking that I don't know what I'm doing. It was you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, hold on. I've got a okay. reputation to uphold. <laughs> is he? Ju- I'm just curious. Is he Jamaican? Is he? No. From He's any Jamaican. island? No. Not okay. Where he from? Africa. Like that's what it is. Like he's, but he, but he's not Which like part? he's like West, West Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's he's not like he's not a ri- he's not like straight from there. Like he was born here. His parents are. You know what I'm saying? His so daddy he, taught him. He knows his daddy. Yeah. Uh huh. His daddy taught him. That. Yeah. Okay, he said his. Okay, we get it. It's a cultural thing. Okay. All so, right. Well, um, let's talk a little bit oh. about your um webcam modeling. Yes. Okay. How did you get into that? Do your parents know that you do this? Mm-hmm. No, they don't. Um, he's actually the only person that knows that I do this. I mean, he because he put me onto it. Like, mm-hmm. I kind of, like, when we used to watch videos together, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when I used to watch videos just to get different ideas on my techniques, um, I saw it, like, on Pornhub. I saw the little tab up there, but I didn't know what it was, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but he put me onto it. I just started doing it and I'm like, really, I got, I just became really good at it, you know? And like, I actually Mm -hmm. started doing that in late January of this year. Mm -hmm. And like usually January and February are like the slowest months. And then we go straight into like coronavirus lockdown quarantine. So it's like, if you can make it during this time, (laughs) Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You could pretty much make it as a webcam model because it's just, it's a, um, so, so let me ask you another question. And like Kiki said earlier, it is, is, I don't want you to think we're attacking you. We just like to ask real. Oh questions. no, it's all banter. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> I know we're all stuck inside right now, but that doesn't mean that you can't work out. You've got to try Open Fit. Open Fit takes all the complexity out of losing weight and getting fit. It's a new fitness streaming service from the comfort of your living room in as little as 10 minutes a day. Open Fit offers 350 brand new live workouts every week. You can choose from bar and Pilates classes, cardio, strength training, yoga, even guided walking and running sessions. All you need is your phone and a pair of earphones. Every Monday, Open Fit launches a new Three week live challenge, a different live workout every day for three weeks. You can even connect with your trainer and classmates using OpenFit's live chat tool. OpenFit is so affordable. Some places only sell classes as a package, and often you can't even make it to every single class. But OpenFit brings those classes to you anytime, anywhere. You get what you put in. You can see results within the first 30 days. If you actually want to lose weight and keep it off, you can lose up to 15 pounds in just the the first 30 days the right way. OpenFit has changed the way I work out and texting my code COCKTAILS to 505050, you can join me on a fitness journey personalized just for you. That's C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S to 505050. Right now, during the OpenFit 14-day challenge, our listeners get a special extended 14-day free trial membership to OpenFit when you text COCKTAILS to 505050. You'll get full access to OpenFit all the workouts and nutrition information totally free. Again, just text cocktails to 505050. Standard message and data rates may apply. So you seem very confident when you're speaking about this and you say that it empowers you. However, you wear a mask on your face so that no one can see you and no one really knows what you're doing. Are you really mm-hmm. proud of what you're doing? Like, and I'm asking you this as a, we host a sex podcast. All we really talk about is sex. My mm-hmm. mom sometimes has had issues with it, but she knows what I'm doing. Our oh, friends mad know what we're we doing. The men it. that we date, they mm-hmm. actually know what we're doing. It's like, we can have a conversation about it. Like, this is my life. This is an, mm-hmm. uh, another wet form of me making money. And I'm really, I'm proud of this. And of so it makes me wonder, like, are you really proud of what you're doing? A thousand percent. Yes. Okay. I am a thousand percent proud of it because like, I just see the need for it. I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, are you, why do you hide? Why do That's I hide? That's what I'm curious. Yeah. Behind just the mask. Because, just because, um, people, I mean, you don't really need to know what I look like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I'm good at what I do, you, why do you really need to know what I look like? Like, I don't know if you guys know the model. Money. I mean, the, okay. So I can I move, can I move the camera? Can I move the camera? Like down yeah. the so like on, on cam, right? So you'll see, like if you're in my room and you come into my room, 
Mm -hmm. this is all you'll see i'll like lay down on the side like you know what i'm saying on, across my bed but like i don't even show my face on cam like wow. that you know what i'm oh, saying and yeah. i make i make good money like i do and wow. like a lot of, i have i have a whole bunch of videos on pornhub x videos um i'm on twitter as well so like it's just like real recognized real if you see mm -hmm. the talent then it's like the, it doesn't really matter like i i pretty much operate as a vessel that the art form pours through you know what i'm saying it's like a portal mm -hmm. so it's like it doesn't really matter what i look like i guess we're operating from two different points of view because you're like i want to look good like i don't want to mess this up and me i'm just like i don't really care what your I main thing like. is i, I suck dick like a beast mm -hmm. and yeah. it don't matter what i look like it's about the it's technique by my book so you can do it too it's not, not about you model. it's about the I'm technique Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. you. I feel you on okay. that. I feel okay, you. I get it. Yeah. So literally, I feel like, like the allure of you not knowing what I like. It literally makes dudes come super quick. Like it, it does. Makes it it's just like more. Yeah. It's almost it like it it's like a mystery. It's a sexy limit. mystery. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I just I feel like I'm like a superhero. <laughs> that type of I said like, that was the first thing I said like, when you had that on. Yeah. 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 So okay so what are some things that um well i can't remember if you said this or not so forgive me but did you uh -oh. say that people are able to hit you up for like one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions maybe yeah they can hit me up on, yep they can hit me up um have they done it yeah they have they so have, when they do I it do what's the number one thing that people ask you just how to do it and how to do it first of all and then second of all how do i get over myself like you know what i'm saying like how what do i do get mean? like suppress my mind like out of your head your mind can just, yeah out of your head because your mind can just be like no you can't do this you suck you're gonna bite his dick you know what i'm saying he's gonna slap you across the face whatever <laughs> you know what i'm saying but like, like you just have to because the thing is he if if and i'm not saying you have to be his girl but it's like you're the person controlling the dick at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Yes, his dick is hard, but you're the one who's making it come, milking it, you know what I'm saying? Doing all the moves on it. So um, you don't have, you really don't have anything to worry about. And it's like, I can say that plainly, but it's like, it's just like giving ch uh, different females like the tools on how to get over themselves. And I don't know what other way to put that, but like suppress their mind and get out of their anxiety. Um, I do that really well in the book. Like I, I break my book down based on mind, body, spirit. And like I put dick sucking or the art of dick sucking in each of those categories. So when you combine them all together, you have nothing to worry about. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's muted. It's muted. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I had a personal question because, um, and if all of our listeners go listen to the bonus episode with me and Mandy, you will know why I am choosing to opt out of having sex hmm. um, until I get married. I hope I can, I hope I can, um, is I that all sex? support? It's, I don't know yet, but I know penis, the, next, uh, the, mo the next penis that enters my she vagina will be my husband. And so okay. she's going to try to clinch the vagina on the niggas so, so they can get married. And so I want to make sure that I, you know, am really great at having sex. I'm a pleaser. I am a pleaser, Hedusa. Like I will basically do whatever any man or woman, you know, ask of me as long as you're nice. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I want to know a, a lot of the times in my life when I have given head, I give good head, but they mm -hmm. don't come and i don't know if they're just trying to hold off mm -hmm. or what or if i'm just not doing it good enough to make them come mm -hmm. and i want to know what are some ways to make a man come quick from head because mm -hmm. it seems so hard mm -hmm. um honestly it depends on like their body count just how many times have they done that and then second of all varied speeds you know what i'm saying you don't want to just do the same speed the same motion the whole time because it gets numb Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, if you start off slow, go medium, it's kind of like a sine wave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go up and down, and then you have the big finale at the end. Then it's like, oh, my God, I can't hold back. You feel so what you I'm saying? You shouldn't start fast. 
you can start fast, but just don't stay fast. You have to vary the speed up and the mm -hmm. technique. If you use your hand at a certain point in time, don't use it, you know, the whole time. If you use your right hand, switch to your left hand. It's like the speed, the temperature, how it feels. You feel what I'm saying? Like the mm -hmm. depth, it's all, you just, it's, it's pretty much like a puzzle and you can put it together however you want. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So you yeah. just have to have the different pieces in your tool belt and then you can just pick them out, different colors, paint brushes mm -hmm. and like, you know what I'm saying? So, but the speed variation is very important. Cause I know a lot of chicks get like caught in that and they're just like, well, my mouth is tired. You didn't come. Like you want to fuck? What's up? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Or you just want to have sex? Um, so I like the speed is very important. It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that answer your question? Tired, but it, it, did. Did. it did. We okay. just had a moment of silence for our own thoughts yeah. about our own dick stuff. Are, are teeth tickles. ever okay? No, I'm glad you brought that up. No, okay. no, <laughs> no. It's like it literally, clear. it's literally hot. Like you know, you when you shave your vagina, it's like literally cutting your vagina and like just being like, oh, okay, that's cool, and just like playing with it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. Um, but no, I mean, unless they like that, which I don't know a dude who does, but it's 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 no. It's a no. maybe somebody who likes pain, extreme pain, might like it. Like they pain. probably tell you. Yeah, that's true. Because some people do like to be cut. Some people like their dicks cut. They like to have like those those <laughs> piercings and things. We went that's to this true. thing called Fet Life like earlier this year or last year. Oh okay. my god, have you ever been to an event like that? Like to a no, sex but dungeon? I'm, no, but I'm on like girl. their website. They have a Fet Life website. Girl, <laughs> not Fet Life. That wasn't what it was called. Something con. One of those cons, oh, yeah, but it was yeah, the nasty. It fat life. It, and I went so to the fat dungeon. Life the there website. were niggas putting needles. Frolicon. Frolicon. No. I have Bitch, never seen anything. They had like a in my knife life. play class where they play with knives. I mean, there's so many kinks out there. So mm -hmm. it's like certain things that you would think that nobody would like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Some was the question life. that you didn't really answer. What makes you and your, your partner kinky? Mm. oh that we like we do it all the time like all the time like all but the time. what kind of kinks do y'all involve or is it just you're not like, really kinky you just have high sex drives mm -hmm. well like, that's not kinky yeah i kind of like doing it in places where i know i'm gonna get caught you know what i'm saying like or i there's like a potential so like you're, of me getting caught so like, like an I'll exhibitionist yeah, kind of like i don't really do it somebody like, could see you yeah you know what i'm so saying what y'all doing during quarantine because you can't do it He's, yeah. <laughs> shout out to backdrops um shout out to the green screen um mm -hmm. i mean just like doing it in the car like you know what i'm saying in the middle of a parking lot doing it in like a parking garage just random places like there i i kind of want to save the story um until we that part of the, the Your podcast. cocktail, cocktail cool. yeah but just like doing it random places all the time all the time all the, like what's your favorite part about sex in general and then your favorite part about giving head hmm i would say i'm a very i'm a very like spiritual person right so like when i have a sex with my partner like i literally birth brain children or like whole businesses and ideas you know what i'm saying like it, I, I can't really explain it, but just like I wish sex was like that for me. But yeah, just like creating nuts, yeah. <laughs> if I do that, writing if. books, you know what I'm saying, um, and stuff like that. So just like the prosperity, abundant aspect of it, um, and materialization, manifestation aspect of it, that is really, um, it's really high for me. It's really like, especially when we're like in flow it's very high. Like that stuff happens instantly. Um, and then about me sucking dick, I would say him coming and him just like enjoying and feeling like the whole experience, you know, like the longest I've done it, like suck dick for a session has like been three hours. So like you suck like, dick for three hours, three hours. straight. Hey, dude, this nigga better be paying your motherfucking Wait. bills. Yes. Like you, this is great. I'm glad you're spiritual and you love that he gives yeah. you knowledge, but he also but, better have a job and he better oh, be paying. What does he do? He is into music. 
He is oh, like Lord. he's not one of he's not one of those SoundCloud rappers and all that kind of stuff. He okay. he does it from like top and bottom. Like he produces he's an engineer. Yeah, engineer produces, raps, sings, like all of it. Pretty damn near like Michael Jackson. Um, that not like the exact copy, but just like he's very multi talented in the mm. music area. So mm. yeah. But yeah. Well, I am girl. safe, ladies. I know you guys asked me like 30 times. <laughs> I'm asking. Am I safe? Asking. You about to email me. Are you sure? Me. Are you, you about sad? to all go to jail? You like, miss sex trafficking. <laughs> We're not going to jail. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, okay. No, we <laughs> are going to move on to Indecisive Diane. When we come back, you're going to help us give some advice to our listeners. Okay. Okay. I want to be your friend. I'm gonna on it. First of all, I have some questions. You know, Kiki and I be needing to know questions. Like I, when he, when him and his brother came to your house for breakfast, did they Were come they empty handed? Well, I want to know. Like, did they come empty handed, or was he like, "Hey, babe, do you need me to pick up anything?" No. Did he, did, did he just naturally bring something? I'm gonna assume oh. no, because you didn't say that. But if he didn't, and that's just for even if you're not br- being friend zoned, you're 29, sis. Um. I think that you're a grown ass woman and dealing with men that have these childish behaviors and you want to bring your friends when your friends weren't invited. It's a no for me, bro. It's a no for me, dog. And to me, that's childish. You needed to ask if I made enough breakfast for you and your goddamn brother. Mm-hmm. Because what if I didn't? I didn't. Yeah. And, and so, what if your brother finer than you? And what if your brother you finer than you? But obviously you really do like him and I get it, but I, ha- I have to tell you, you got to just dead it. And if he wants you, he's going to come after you. And yep. still leave him in the dust. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't have nothing to say to you. Or you know how I feel. <laughs> just let her emotions it's a bad take idea. over. It's really. a bad idea. And All your right. gut is telling you it's a bad idea. You're just, you just yeah. don't want to listen your to it. Your gut, your mama and your grandma told you the same thing. Listen to them. Listen and to cocktails, how? Listen <laughs> to the, um, the blue corn spirit or whatever they say. The in blue Pocahontas. corn, corn moon. Or has the, the grinning bobcat. Why he grins. Okay, singer. All right, vocal. I don't know the words. Okay. Anyway, next email. <clears throat> I was listening to Poor Minds too much. Now I think I can sing along. Right, I think I'm legs. <laughs> you, you do. <laughs> All right. Hi, Kiki and Medina. Love the show. Love you. Oh, thanks, girl. I hope you don't say nothing crazy. So you can be mad. Okay, so much personality. Okay, compliments. She about to say something crazy. We already know. I'm scared. All right. I'm asking for advice. I know you meant advice. Ladies, so I've been having problems with my jaw joint since I was a child. Oh, this is for you. This is perfect. <laughs> now I'm 30. It was getting worse with me. I had pain occasionally and even had trouble talking clearly because of un of an uneven jaw opening. I should have proved her at this. Okay. Still, I could open my mouth widely and suck a D. Smiley face. Then this year, my doctor said he doesn't like how my jaw joints are looking on MRI and sent me to surgery. My surgery was in the beginning of March this year, not that long ago. It was a success, but now I have a very limited mouth opening. Oh, shit. You better get that spit going. Mm. I can't even eat a banana right now. The Yeah, I can't even eat a banana right the right way. <laughs> I hurt poor banana with my teeth now when I put it on it. The doc said my mouth opening might not return to its pre-surgery state, which was a normal opening. The doc said my mouth, um, oh, it's upsetting me because I'm single and I don't know how and when to explain this issue to my future boo. Should I tell him I don't suck dick before we have sex during the foreplay or when he forces like, oh, hold on. Don't nobody need to force nothing right. on you. But <laughs> she said, or when he forces slash asks me to do it, which is not the same. Let me say that one more time. Um, should I explain to him why I don't suck dick or just, or just say I don't do it and that's it? Actually, She's still not done. You know what the question is, but I'm going to read the rest just in case there's a gem in here. I like giving head a lot. Okay, this is the truth. Mm -hmm. This whole issue is upsetting. I'm afraid men will leave me when they find out. I might need to find a man who will fall head over heels in love with my personality and won't care. But damn, that's not easy. What you would do in this kind of situation, hope you read this. 
I'm confused. She's having a jaw issue, okay, like a so medical her, problem. Basically, her jaw is fucked up. She can't open her mouth wide. It only opens up a little bit. She had a, she probably had the Kanye West thing where the mouth was wide shut um, or something like that. Wow. And so now she used to have a normal jaw opening, but now her doctor's like, this shit ain't lining up right. You got to stop doing whatever you've been it's doing. It's going to be like that forever. This is yes, a forever Forever problem. thing. So she doesn't know <laughs> if she should just tell guys from the jump, like, basically, nigga, I would love to suck your dick because I like sucking dick, but I can't because my mouth don't open wide enough and you don't have a pencil dick which is a good thing for you not for me and she feels like they're gonna leave her or should she not say anything and then just be like i don't even suck dick well that's never the answer i feel like sis you're tripping like you don't need to from the jump on date one be like just so you know my jaw doesn't open and i can't suck your dick how do you feel about that i think that's weird just let it flow when it comes through it let it flow when it gets time and he tries to put that dick in your face like listen you could be totally honest. I was really afraid to tell you this. I hope you don't feel any type of way. But if you do, you can go mm-hmm. to my house. But um, <laughs> I'd love to suck your dick, but I can't. But I can do some other things. Mm-hmm. And then immediately, you show them what else you can do. Yeah. Throw that spit on there. Use your hand. Or yeah, you can trip it. They let- dumb. Anyway, niggas are dumb. Let me let you know this. I used to fuck with a really old nigga. He oh, is God. old. Like, old. Like, I'm still old. hoping I'm in his will. He's old and like like he got coronavirus and could die like if he got coronavirus he was in the he was in the the category of he got it he did get it i'll show you he recovered he recovered but he almost died and like he's a grand he's granddaddy old but here's what i'm saying like he don't got to be old but he was super ocd and one time i tried to suck his dick and he was like oh no no baby no 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 i don't like all that bodily fluid on me so you could also just get a nigga who is very ocd and doesn't want his dick sucked or there are people out there yeah. You got options, sis. Don't you be scared. Got options. Don't be afraid of it. Some niggas don't like you suck their dick. Some of them really like to eat pussy, and you can just let them concentrate on that and be yeah. like, I don't do that. I am a firm believer in getting someone, a man or a woman, oh, who is obsessed with that. you. So they don't care what you don't do. They're just obsessed with your being. <laughs> that is her MO. Well, good luck to you, home girl. Write us back, send us a cocktail of what happens mm-hmm. when you do finally let somebody know your mouth don't open that wide they probably know when you kiss them unless you skip or when you try to talk like we didn't even let the head giver the best head giver ever give a give her advice (laughs) you have master oralist in your bio yeah we're not so we don't keep saying it give her some advice i mean there are different techniques where you don't have to open your mouth as wide you don't and the the more shallow you are you don't have to open it as wide as well. You can do hand jobs. So there, there are a lot of options. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a box of crayons. It's not just like a 10 pack. You know what I'm saying? What is it? The 64 pack, 80 pack. Oh, I don't know. I, remember I don't know. It's a whole, though. there's a whole, you know what I'm saying? It's that pack. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. And you just like a lot of this just all boils down to mental your mind you know what i'm saying like yeah how can you conquer that beast in your mind yeah because- and you and sis you have a different smaller mouth beast yeah <laughs> learn how to suck dick with that job problem yeah. yeah and it's not like just I mean, lick it they're outlier like i would say i'm an outlier like i I would say i'm an outlier because like a lot of chicks don't even do they don't even suck dick like it's not even in their vocabulary they don't like they don't do it you know what i'm saying but that's when you have dudes stepping out and and being with side piece becky you feel they're gonna do that regardless i feel like that's when superhead's techniques come in just suck his tip and just or this one. yeah that's the that's the one i always go to I like that one too. That's yeah. their options as long as you're confident <laughs> as long as they you're do. confident doing it like he's gonna love it because the thing is it's not it like every other thing suck his dick it's not like just especially during this time right yeah niggas are deprived well some of them girl niggas is getting thirsty i had somebody hit me up the other day and asked me if they could just pay me for sex they didn't even try to like ask you if you was or shaved who oh you waved at cheryl my bad cheryl art (laughs) it's my bad cheryl so somebody was being inappropriate wait a minute hold on (laughs) Sorry. Niggas is getting thirsty for quarantine. That's what we was going I'm to. Thirsty. Like, they, I girl, I'm thirsty. Like, but and, then, and then they girl, the thing is they quarantine with their girls. So they can't even like, 
sneak around you know what i'm saying you so can. it's like they girl don't even please them and then they they just ex- that's when that's when the webcam comes in that's like, when you have to open oh. up your horizons bruh it's hard out here i'm even like i haven't Ooh. had sex in a in very long? long time like, how long a long time and i'm starting to i'm going crazy you said but you said you made a pact right I did make a pack, but but when I stepped into quarantine, there was like a moment when I had sex. (laughs) You don't believe I can do this. I don't think you want to do it. I I want to do it. I I really think if you really wanted to in your heart of hearts, you would do it. I'm doing it. I think it's because of circumstance. I'm just going to say it. If you had some, if Drake came and was like, I'm not, I said this to legs. I'm not spreading bad. my legs for Drake. You know Let how many bitches you. are spreading their legs Bust for him? I have to make but an impact. But when he says it to you, <laughs> I'm tell him not him. I'm right. gonna fuck you, then, bitch. Drake. He's going to say, all right. You no, know, he's going to be like, I Let, knew you were the up. one. He's going to be like, no, he's not. Excuse me? Okay. And then when he says it, you're like, hold on. I was just, no. it was a joke. <laughs> I was joking. I thought we were recording. <laughs> I love Drake Hadusa and I- she's infatuated with him. She tried to put a, a question about her and Drake in an episode <laughs> she wasn't even a part of. And I was like, I'm gonna save all of these questions for you. You use them. For yours, you're not even here. Why My point being, if I ever get to be with Drake and he wants to fuck me, he fucks everyone. I can't bust it wide open. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know I'm not gonna, gonna fuck Drake. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck Drake. I'm gonna be like, let's talk about. Do you believe that? Just you, raise your hand in the room <laughs> if you believe that. I you mean, didn't even raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck him. I'm gonna be like, let's listen to some Sade and let me cook for you. Let me show right, you what it's gonna get wet. Mm-hmm. It is it gonna is get wet. And I'm gonna be and I'm gonna like kiss him and I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let my hands go down the back of his fresh fade. And then I'm gonna go to the piano. I'm gonna be like, let me show you the one song. He does. Oh, and I know how to play the Titanic song on the piano. I'm gonna play it. Really? Yeah. Oh, we played something. Okay, well, we find a piano. Okay, bitch, and I'm gonna play it for him. I'm gonna be like, I'm not just trying to fuck you. And if that's really all you're trying to do, even though you fucked all the bitches in the world, that's not, I know that that's not what he's trying to do with me, though. He wants a life with he me. He doesn't know. <laughs> well, if he's no, listening to this, away. I'm teaming back to the show. Okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> you don't know her like I know her, but I'll be okay, Simone talks so much about the baby and look at her in his video. Look at her. She was crazy over Some him. marketing technique. But look how crazy she was over him, and look that now they're at least friends, and they then she was on him. Like that's gonna be me and Drake, and all y'all gonna be like, yeah, look at Medina. I'm be like, yeah. Yep. All right. So, do you have another advice pulled up? No. Yes. All right. So let's move on to the cocktails, the best part of the show. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'm gonna guess it. You I'm reading a- one because okay. I am not having sex until marriage. Hey, Dusha, ha- you have one. We're gonna let Medina read hers. I decide I'm not sharing mine. You're not. Mm-mm. Okay. I gotta spread them out. It is still quarantine. We'll see if I ever want to share it. I don't. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Okay, well, we'll do this. Um, um, you read yours, and then you'll do yours, and then that's it. Perfect. Let me find it. Okay, this is kind of short. That was cut no. this week. You gave a hell of a cocktail this week. Hey, you got to go back and listen to last week's episode. Just even if you don't want to listen to the whole episode, fast forward, because the last oh, week's episode You really got to be boring. a Patreon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you guys have tears, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see y'all out here. So the subject mm-hmm. on this cocktail is called a married cocktail. She says, keep me anonymous, please. Hey, girls, let's get right to it. Recently, my husband had a big work meeting. So the night before, I guess he needed some motivation. I was getting in the bed about to curl up and catch up on 90 Day Fiance. But he had other plans. Dude told me to come sit on his face. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm riding his face and he's sucking my clit. Then we moved to the 69 position for a while. Not my fave, not mine either, girl. But whatever. But he knows what I like, and he knows how to make me scream with ecstasy. 
He flipped me over, went down and ate my pussy. Something fierce. The combination of him sucking my clit and fingering me always sends me over the top. I came all over his fingers. He licked my juices. I licked my juices. He always likes to go for multiple orgasms, but my clit can't take all that stimulation right after I nut. So then I decided to take charge. I guide him away from the bed and over to the love seat. I sit him down, turn my back to him, and slide over and slide ever so gently onto his dick. I'm picturing this in my mind. Reverse cowgirl. <laughs> I know this is his favorite position. So he's on cloud nine. I'm bouncing fast, then slow, then fast, then slow, then fast, then slow. But hold up, though. My knees start shaking and throbbing, bitch. I'm in my 30s. So riding dick ain't easy as it used to be. But he don't know all that. He's excited. He tells me to dance on that dick, twerk on that dick, dance on that dick, bounce on that dick, bitch. He demands it. Do what now? Don't you feel my legs quivering? Don't you hear my knees crackling? I hate it here. I had to hurry up and do my finish him move so I could hurry up and get some ice on these knees. She sound like me with my torn meniscus. I swirled my hips around and around in perfect circles. And that's all she wrote. He exploded inside of me. And that was that. I didn't ice my knees. I wobbled down to the kitchen for ice cream instead. He had a great meeting the next day, thanks to me. Mm. It does feel good when you fuck somebody so good that you know that you just made their week or their day, whatever the fuck you made it. Mm-hmm. It is a bit of an ego boost. Mm. I did that. Hadusa, what's your cocktail? Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying like when I do, when oh. I. I did it. Okay. Okay. Producer, what you got, girl? I got you. So, I ain't got nothing either. <laughs> so, um, I guess in the formation of me creating Hadusa, um, I actually used to be in the music industry. So, not like the mainstream music industry, but the um, independent music industry. I used to work with the tour promoter, and I used to be on the road for like eight, nine months out of the year, traveling all around, everywhere. So, like. Mm. The guy that I created Hadusa with, who is my partner, um, we used to just like, you know what I'm saying, travel. He, he's the dude who um, would perform at the shows and everything like that. So like one time we met up and um, we were, you know, backstage at a concert. We literally just got to the, um, got to the venue and he's like, Hadusa, you know what I'm saying? And um, we literally go backstage and I just like suck his dick. Like the freaking sound engineer people just there on the side, the curtain people over here on the side. And you have I'm your mask like, on? No, I didn't have my mask on. Because I wasn't Hadusa. I was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? My oh. other person. So like, I'm just like, and like, he's just like moaning. And it's like literally like we're just having sex. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sucking his dick like outside. And like, he just like comes just like all everywhere you know what i'm saying and like the tour promoter mm-hmm. he's just like where are you guys at what are you guys doing <laughs> and like you know what I'm saying we're just getting it in and then i literally just have to like you know get myself back together and just go out because i i worked um the front front of the house um at each show and i just had to like you know <laughs> wipe it off and then he was the host um and he he was a host and dj so like he had to get back to his position and like literally people are coming into the venue and he's like hurry up we gotta blah 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 and it's just like like that thrill that i was telling you guys about earlier that that's me thrill that's me and like you you get it you get it pumping so i have a story like that um but then also just like getting caught um we were promoting one time like at the mall i forget where it was and like he he was just like mad horny you know what i'm saying like his dick would not go down and like we're just in the middle of the mall like parking lot or whatever like people pulling up next to us and like we just doing a session like that's the kind of stuff you know what i'm saying that i like to do it it's so funny when when people talk about getting caught because to me getting caught it's i have ptsd because of it not even just police like when i remember i told you when i was in ninth grade i had sucked my boyfriend's dick in the movie theater it wasn't even good i just did it and then i wrote my friend an email about it and the computer froze and then i just turned it off thinking everything would delete and it didn't delete and my parents got on the computer and turned it on and the whole email about me sucking ninth grade dick on the computer screen and i got 
a whole conversation, like a Cosby Huxtable talk to situation. <laughs> I ne- I don't like being caught. I got PTSD. I don't like being caught. Yeah, I've like never been caught. I have PTSD. Mm-hmm. But I've never been read caught. my text messages yeah. before, mm-hmm. and they were very. Were nasty. you grown or were you a kid? I was seventeen. 18. Okay, I was kid. in high school, okay. so a kid, an older kid, but a kid, but it was still like. I know I said some filthy shit and my mom was like, probably like, who raised you? Bitch, I thought I got that old shit out me. But you didn't. <laughs> oh, That's not she gonna see me. this clip. Hey, dude, so hey. you are so dope. You and your mask. And remember, like we said, <laughs> um, your man you and your mask needs to I'm eat some pussy. You- he has convinced you that you're a master oralist. He's obviously enjoying it. So maybe if you're in a relationship, a long-term relationship especially, you should check out her book. She has a handbook that gives you tips. She is online, and she said that she offers private sessions. She can teach you some things, maybe. Um, yeah, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you guys for having me. And yes, if you guys want to contact me, I am Hedusa, I-A-M, Hedusa, H-E-A-D-U-S-A.com hit me up i'm pretty open this was a Mm -hmm. pleasure i appreciate it thanks girl okay so the 